my channel today I'm going to be sharing with you guys some of my favorites from March and some of my not so favorites so I do have a few products in here that are just not my favorite products I am gonna definitely get them out of the way before I move on to my favorite products in this video I'm actually kind of combining hair products and skincare along with a few makeup items so it's gonna be kind of a mixture versus all of makeup you know I kind of wanted to get a little bit more variety in this video I have quite a few things that I've just been loving and I feel like you guys need to hear about so without further ado let's jump right into the video okay first things first let's go ahead and get the things that I have not been loving for the month of March out of the way so first things first is this dry shampoo from living proof this is the perfect hair day dry shampoo and this stuff is ridiculously powdery so when you spray it I'm not gonna spray it in my hair because it'll ruin it but when you spray it try getting that out of your hair literally I don't know why they did it look it's like flaking off of my skin it's terrible the worst it is the worst dry shampoo I have ever ever used I don't know where I got it I don't know why I bought it I don't know if I got it in like a subscription box or whatever but I had it sitting in all my hair stuff and I was running low on my dry shampoo my favorite is the Orebe or Orebi I think that's how you pronounce it Orebi it's like 40 bucks it's the best but I was running low on that one so I grabbed this one and completely ruined my hair it literally I had to take a wet washcloth and go through it because I sat there and tried and tried and tried to blend it into my hair I could not get that white cast so stay far away from this it smells hella good it's like putting melted chalk in your hair and try and get it out it's awful I don't know what the hell they were thinking when they made that product but it is not good stay far away the next thing is sadly this this is the Disney D dose of colors palette uh, the Minnie Mouse this one just didn't work out for me I just I love the blush in here I think the blush is really pretty but the whole color scheme doesn't make sense to me like the peach tones with a hot pink like throws me completely off You've got a chocolate brown shimmer shade with a bright pink like it just doesn't go for what I like in palettes and the color stories that I like this just does not do it so ugh, sadly it didn't work next up is this palette from Tarte you guys seen my review on this one Although I think the shades are really pretty and I think the packaging is the prettiest best packaging I've seen in a palette. It is so oceanic and so beach worthy. I love it so much. But the shades in here on the other hand like the glitter toppers were kind of hard to use. I haven't watched a lot of reviews on this. I don't know how people are feeling about it but it's not my favorite palette so I bought this from Estee Lauder this is the Estee Lauder by Violet and it's a sheer eye gloss and I do not like this every time I've used it it's just not worked very good and so like you're supposed to be able to put it over your eyeshadow to make it look glossy but it's oily and the problem is it like makes my eyeshadow crease like a mofo Every time I've used it I've had to end up taking it off and I don't know what the purpose of this product is I don't know I don't know I understand that they were trying to make it glossy looking but at, at one point when does it dry down I don't understand this product I wouldn't waste your money on it I thought it was extremely stupidly expensive and it was sold out um, because it was in collaboration with Violet but it's just not my favorite you guys I don't understand the pro I don't understand the reason behind it like I understand trying to make your lid look glossy but at one point does it dry or what because all it did on me was just crease anything I put over top of it even if I had a really good shimmer shade I put over top of it it just creased like crazy so I don't know don't waste your money I think it's overrated okay, so we got those out of the way let's move on to skincare for a few seconds because I have some items here that I want to talk about so the first skincare product I have to talk about you guys is this I've only used this a handful of times I would say five or six times since I bought this this is from The Ordinary. It's sold at Sephora. Paid $7.20 for this, you guys. 
$7.20. It's currently out of stock on the Sephora website, but I have never in my life ever experienced anything quite like this. So this is the AHA 30% plus BHA 2% peeling solution. Now you don't leave it on for more than 10 minutes. So the first time I used this, I only put it on for 10, se 10, 10 seconds. I put it on for seven minutes. And basically I just left, I did not put it anywhere around my eyes. I kind of just had this kind of, you know, I put it all the way around, but not around my eyes. Well, the first time I tried it, I was like, okay, well, I don't want this to be like, break me out or cause an irritation. I know it's strong. I'm going to be careful with it. So I only did it for seven minutes. You guys, when I tell you, I have very expensive skincare in my collection and I buy quite a bit from, you know, Dermalogica, Obagi, SkinCeuticals. I have a lot of really potent skincares in my collection that are very expensive. This is $7.20 and never in my life have I ever woke up the next morning and seen an actual difference from using a product one time. In all the years I have been loving skincare, I've never had that happen. This is unbelievably powerful and so the reason why I use this is because I have all of this redness and texture from breakouts okay so like a month ago I had an acne breakout and it's I have it always on this side because that's the side I sleep on so even though I got rid of the acne breakout I put an aloe vera plant on it and really got it healed up good but I still had the redness I still had that purple tone to it I could not get rid of it I seen this pop up on Sephora website and I was like you know what I've heard so many people talk about this I'm gonna grab it I did and holy shit skis this stuff will blow your mind it is unbelievable unbelievable the next day I woke up and it had faded and I'm like oh my gosh I use this twice a week it has a 4.8 out of 5 stars out of 125 reviews because this stuff works it's an exfoliating solution to help fight visible blemishes and improve the look of skin texture and radiance it's for normal combo and oily skin and it's best suited for blemishes fine lines and wrinkles dullness and uneven skin texture so it has glycolic acid in it which exfoliates the outer layers of the skin lactic acid which exfoliates the outer layers of the skin and salicylic acid which exfoliates inside the pores to reduce to reduce congestion I've never used anything this potent before and I didn't have any reaction to it and but my skin's tough you guys if you're not used to using these harsh uh, pharmaceutical grade skincare ingredients I would go light on this if you've not used it ever in your life I would put this on for maybe two or three minutes wash it off then the next time you use it kind of increase your time from there because my skin's getting pretty tough because I, I use pretty potent ingredients so my skin's gotten really used to it but if you're not used to stuff like this I recommend using a little you know do it for a little bit of time this will change your life if you have what I have like those red circles of like blemishes that you cannot get rid of you can't get rid of that color this will fade it it's unbelievable and because I've fallen so madly in love with this I'm actually gonna start buying more from this brand and I'm going to kind of start really researching it because I spend so much money on skincare you guys this stuff is so cheap but yet so effective I highly recommend looking into it if you are having any issues that I just described and it'll blow your mind. Moving on to the next skincare product. This is the Elastoderm Eye Cream. Now I use this, this is from Obagi. I used this years ago and I recently decided to buy this when I had to order something from the Derm store. And I will tell you, this has been so amazing on my under eyes. It just, you only need a teeny little bit. Like, I mean, I've had this for probably three months and I still have half the jar. So you only need literally like this much to do both eyes. I have been putting it on, their, on my smile lines as well. This creeping skin right here has gotten fuller. We carry our age in our under eyes because that skin gets so thin as time goes on. And then the creeping skin kind of comes to in play this has completely within a month I've, be, I've seen a huge difference in this skin right here this creeping skin it's not as thin as it was i can't speak to my crow's feet because i do get botox in my crow's feet area so i cannot say that it works for crow's feet what i will say though 
is this creeping skin right here has gotten thicker. It's not as thin as it was before I started using this. It is kind of expensive and I paid $115 for it. You can get coupons from Derm Store. I get coupons all the time. So I would be on the look for coupons that will allow you to use it against the Obagi skincare. But this is the Obagi's Elastoderm Eye Cream is a firming formula that strengthens skin by encouraging the production of collagen and elastin. The advanced blend of ingredients makes use of the body's natural skin renewal process to achieve results in less time than traditional eye creams, ideal for mature or, or damaged skin. This anti-aging eye cream helps restore a youthful glow and a healthy appearance of the entire eye area. Like within a month, I started seeing a difference. The second month I was like, okay, Okay, this is good. Now I'm going on my third month and this is, in my opinion, I've tried a lot of eye creams out there on the market, you guys. Even the one from uh, La Mer, which is the only product I've ever tried from La Mer, I tried their eye cream and it doesn't hold a candlestick to this one. So I do know that this is expensive, but this is an investment. I feel like this, because you only need such a small amount, this is going to last you probably nine to 10. You could, I could probably make this last me a year if I wanted to. It's a huge jar of it. I mean, this is a half of an ounce. This is a long lasting eye cream. This stuff is bomb. Okay, moving on to this. Now I actually received this in my beauty fix box from the Derm store. I'm gonna put my results here up on the screen as I'm talking like before and after results. But this is the micro needle roller system from Aura. And this is the lip one. And all you do is it has the little micro needles and you just go over your lips. And my lips have actually gotten bigger. I use this twice a day. So blown away by the results. This actually works. Now, the only thing that's a bummer about this is this is something you have to use on a daily. If you stop using it for a couple of days, your lips will go back down. This is a product that you have to continue to use. You can't just stop using it and expect your lips to be fuller. So, you know, I like this. It's like 20 some dollars, but I love this. For those of you out there that have smaller lips, but you don't wanna go get fillers. Yes, it's an additional thing that I need to incorporate into my morning and nighttime skincare, but I actually think it's effective. So I'm okay with using something and incorporating it into my routine as long as it's effective. So this is awesome. I I've been impressed with it. Okay, we're gonna move on to hair really fast. I don't know if you guys have heard me talk about Olaplex before, but this is the number four and the number five. This is the shampoo and the conditioner. This is the most concentrated shampoo I have ever used. It takes literally this much. Normally, I was using uh, Pureology for years and years and years, and Pureology is very expensive if you buy it like old ton stuff. I do have a cosmetology license, so I am able to purchase this from the uh, supply store for much less than what's on the Sephora website, but I only wash my hair about every four days. So when I'm washing, sometimes I have to wash it twice because just to really get it clean because it doesn't like lather up like I want it to the first time because it's kind of breaking up all the hairspray and the gunk that I have in it. So then I need to go in a second time. Not with this. This stuff is mind blowing. This is the best shampoo and conditioner on the market, hands down. You guys, hands down, the freaking best. My, my beauty supply store can't keep it in stock. It's that freaking amazing. I also recently just bought this. This is the Olaplex number six. This is the Bond Smoother. This is a leave-in reparative styling cream that eliminates frizz and hydrates and protects your hair. You guys, when I tell you, oh my gosh, these three are life-changing. My daughter has really, really coarse hair and we kind of went through like a, we screwed up on her hair phase. A couple of, like a month ago, I screwed up her hair. I know, it's been 20 years since I was in beauty school, so I really don't know what I'm doing. But I screwed up her hair and we had to fix it. And her hair kind of got a little bit trash, but fortunately for her, she has really th thick, coarse hair. She doesn't, my hair. she doesn't have my hair, she has my husband's hair. But this has really repaired it. And this stuff, you guys, I know that everybody talks about how amazing Brio Geo is, and there are a few things that I do love from Brio Geo, but I think Olaplex just, mm, there is nothing. When I tell you, when I tell you there is nothing on the market like the Olaplex, there is nothing on the market like it. It is the best shampoo and conditioner I have ever used, and now this, 
being like if you have any type of frizziness this will completely eliminate it and it takes i'm talking you guys you need this much of this stuff like do not use so much of this the thing that i also like about this stuff is that it lasts me four months because you only need a tiny 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 little bit to make it effective so even though the bottles are small they last me so much longer than even a liter size of the Purology shampoo and conditioner I was buying from Ulta, which would cost me like a hundred bucks. These products right here will change your life. Just saying. Okay, I'm gonna move on. Now, I recently had this hair tool sent to me from a brand, and you know, I have stuff sent to me quite often. I don't talk about it on camera. I have a whole box full of stuff over there that brands have sent me that I don't talk about here on camera because I've either not really gotten to use it very much or I just, it's not my thing. You know what I'm saying? They sent me this hair straightener. I think the brand is called El, El, El Atrudi. Atrudi, it's probably how it's pronounced. I don't know because I bought you everything, but I was actually in the need of a new straightener and I always bought like the more expensive ones. This one is great because it has a steam option. So I've never, ever, ever in my life straightened my hair with steam. And I was like, wait a minute, how do I do that? And I actually really like the way that it straightens using that steam. So all you do to do the steam is you pop this off. It's so stinking easy. Like I thought it was gonna be really difficult. So this pops out so easily. So you remove this little tabby thing right here, okay? this little black thing, you fill it up with water, you close it back up, you stick it back in there, pop it in, pop this back over top, and you're good to go. It's that stinking easy. So it has this little steam button. Now when you plug it in, you can, like you plug it in and you hold the power down and it'll pop on. And this right here is a high and low button, which I love because some of the straighteners can get hella hot and I don't like that. But the steam, I really, really like. And the thing that I also like about this one is it's affordable. So that's the only reason why I mention it to you guys is because this is a really great straightener, especially for the price. The straightener retails for $34.99, but if you use a code, which I'll put here at the bottom, it's not my code. It's just a code for you guys, but it's not a code that I'm going to make any commission on. And you will actually receive $10.50 off, so you'll get it for $24.49. I like it because it does have the rounded edge to it, so that I'm learning how to curl my hair with a straightener. I don't know if you guys have struggled like me, but I really struggle curling my hair with a hair straightener. But this kind of gives you that mobility to go in there and do the curl because it has that curved edge to it, which I really love. I do really like the steam option on this. Of course, you only want to put water in there. You do not want to put anything else in there. I really like this hair straightener. It's good. I wouldn't recommend it to you if it wasn't. Okay, we're going to move on to a few makeup items that I have here. I don't have a lot, but first thing I want to talk about is the Lancome Ultra Wear Nude Foundation. I'm wearing it right now. It has become such a beautiful foundation for me. I can't wait to wear this in the summer. I have a feeling this is going to be really, really pretty in summer during the heat because it kind of dries down to a nice powdery finish but it still keeps me hydrated and even though it's nude I get more coverage with this than you would think like I said in my review the only negative I hate about it is the packaging like I hate this it drives me nuts the actual foundation itself is becoming a favorite and I do love Lancome foundations but it is becoming a favorite other one that I am kind of I'm impressed by is the Tarte Foundsealer. I really like this foundation. I think that Tarte really, really did a good job with the foundation and I think it's hydrating. It looks healthy on the skin. It literally melts into my skin like no other foundation. It looks really, really pretty and it's become a favorite. It really has. It's a nice, nice foundation. Another thing that I want to talk about is this glow recipe. Oh, I've heard so many people talk about this watermelon glow and it's so good. It is so refreshing oh, it's so so good just do not open your mouth like I did don't talk and open your mouth because it doesn't taste good but this is really refreshing really nice and hydrating gives you that nice dewy look but it doesn't make you look oily so the Tatcha dewy skin mist has been a cult favorite of mine for a while 
this one does make you look dewy and I never, never wear this on camera because then I would really get the comments that I look like an oily mess. But this one gives you that nice glow, but not too much. So this one is really nice. They did a great job on this. I really, really like it. The next thing I wanna talk about is, of course, you guys know I've been raving about this concealer. This concealer is so good. Many of you guys have bought this since I reviewed it and are loving it. It's so nice on my under eyes. It's so dependable. And the thing that I've really enjoyed about this is like when I get done wearing, you know, I don't set my under eyes, right? So because I don't have powders under my eyes, about an hour after I get done with my makeup, I will go like this and pick up any extra product sitting there and then I'm good the rest of the day. So. I love this because it doesn't crease on me anyway. I love this, it's full coverage, it stays hydrating on me. If you have extra dry eyes, I would put on an eye cream under this because it's not gonna slip and slide. This is a nice concealer where if you do have a drier under eye, you can throw an eye cream underneath it and like five minutes later, go in and put this over top of it and it won't slip and slide like a liquid will. This definitely kind of dries and sets down, but it doesn't slip and slide over any type of eye cream. So I do recommend that. And I say that because I've experienced that, like when I'm doing an eye tutorial or whatever, and I've had to wipe off my concealer, I have actually put my eye cream, I just keep little random eye creams sitting around here. I'll throw it back on, get the hydration back in there, and then I'll go immediately like two minutes later and put this over top, and I still don't have a problem with it. So if you are somebody that experiences more dry eyes, I would recommend doing that. But this is a good, good, good concealer. Now I will say this does run a little bit light because this shade is medium 33. And even though it's in the medium category, I feel like the concealer itself runs light. So just know that going into it. The other thing I wanna say are these two little beautiful palettes from ABH. Guys, I've been loving these from ABH. These are so fun. Out of everything I've been playing with and reviewing over the last month, I would say these two have become a favorite only because the shades are so summery and they feel summery to me and it ex makes me excited for summer. I've been really, really loving these and even though I'm constantly always reviewing so much makeup that sometimes it's hard for me to go back and play with things that, that you know, I really love because I'm using a new product. The other thing I wanna talk about is the Urban Decay Reloaded Palette. You guys, I still really love this palette. Do I feel like it's any different than any of the other palettes that I have in my collection? No, but I do really, really love and appreciate this palette. I appreciate how easy this is and how everyday this is, and it's a good palette, so I am definitely loving this one as well. These I wanna mention quickly. These are from Tarte. These are their Chrome Paint Shadow Pots. I have it in two shades. I have it in Top Yacht and Park Avenue Princess. Now, I don't know if I talked about these last month. I might have to check, because I might have, but I love these. I don't feel like these get enough credit, in my opinion. So these up here are from Tarte. This one is the Top Yacht. This one's Park Avenue Princess. These two are from Hourglass, and these are their Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadows. So the top one is in the shade Smoke, and the bottom one is in the shade Foil, and I love these. I will say, even though the ones from Tarte are more blinding than the ones from Hourglass, I feel like the ones from Hourglass are less messy. So if you're looking for some of that real pretty, like, eyeshadow toppers that are less messy, the Hourglass ones work really well, but these ones are definitely blinding. I mean, those tart ones, I mean, look at those. Those are so stinking pretty. They just bring an eyeshadow look to, to life, and I love it for that. So I highly recommend those from Tarte and Hourglass. They're absolutely beautiful. You, know, you guys have probably heard me talk about this in my last couple videos, but if you haven't, I needed to throw this in here. So this is from Clinique. This is the Bottom Lash Mascara. It's 12 bucks and it will change your life. This stuff is amazing. It literally stays put all day on the lower lash line. It's got the teeniest little brush. I love the little brush on it, you guys. It allows you to grab every single hair on your lower lash line. 
but it really separates them nice but it stays put like you never have to worry about your lower lash line ever after putting it on it's amazing cannot say enough great things about that bottom lash mascara from Clinique I have to mention this I've talked about this several times you guys but this is the Chloe Becca palette this is the Becca Chloe palette and I love these shades so much. They are so perfect for spring and summer. And if you love those peachy tones, you will love this. I love putting the bronzer on and then I'll put this blush on and then I'll pop this over top because it kind of has the shimmer to it. And then I'll throw this as my highlighter. I'm actually wearing it today. I love this peach palette. And if you really love peach on the face, oh, it's so good, you guys. It's so good. I've not been able to stop putting it down. I even use it more than I do my hourglass one, the like the gold like holiday palette. I love it so much. I only have two items for lips and then we're done. Done, did it done. Okay, so this is from Becca, but I have it in the shade C Souffle and I love this shade. It's so pretty. Oh gosh, it's pretty. It is the prettiest lippy. I just love this. And their formula is so creamy. Like one of the creamier formulas I think I've ever worn. It just really glides on the lips so good and they're crazy pigmented and I just love it. Like I have really been loving that. This one is from Makeup Revolution. <sighs> Makeup Revolution, oh my God. This is from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Matte Revolution formula and this is in the shade Pillow Talk. I bought this one. I bought the Pillow Talk palette, which I like the Pillow Talk palette, but it's not my favorite. But I love the lippy. I feel like the lippy is just that easy everyday lippy to throw on and because it's the matte formula it literally lasts for hours and hours and hours now I will say this one from Becca even though it's more of a satin creamier type style to it it does last for a pretty decent while too so you know I was impressed with it but I can't say enough great things about these and I'm starting to get into the whole shimmer lipsticks again. This is from Anastasia Beverly Hills and this is in the shade Saint Tropez and if you guys have not tried this shade, you'll need it for summer. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. It's perfect. It is perfect. It is the prettiest gloss and it's so pigmented. The other shimmer like metallic-y type lipsticks that I love are from Joey. These are their high pigment pearl lip glosses. I've talked about these all last summer. I have it in the shade Seashells and Maui and I love it. Maui is my favorite because it's got that really perfect peachy undertone. Oh, it's so good. You guys know I love me a peachy undertone of anything. So, all right. So this one is Maui. Oh, it's so good. And then this one is uh, say, uh, seashells. So as you can see, these are perfect, perfect, perfect. I mean, look at that peach. It's almost like what my lippy is, isn't it? Oh, look at that. What I tell you, it's perfect. And the taste of these are vanilla. Okay. And they're the best. Look at that. It's so pretty. I reviewed a lot of makeup this month, but I have not had a chance to play with them. And I only want to include products in my favorites that I've used several times and really like. And even though the foundation, the found sealer foundation, which I hate the name of it, I've only worn this maybe five to six times. I really, really like it. And I stand behind saying that. I feel like it's a pretty, really nice foundation for those of you out there who are dry skinned or uh, more normal, but want that dewier type finish, but you want it to last, you know, pretty decent amount of time. Um, I just, I wanted to pretty much focus on everything that I've just been loving and not focus on, um, you know, everything that I reviewed this month. I will be uploading a video of all the products that I have been reviewing over the last couple months and how I feel about them and if my feelings have changed and all that. So be on the look for that video very soon. So that's it for my March favorites video. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget, if you're going to get this straightener, don't forget to head into the description box and save you some money because again, I don't make any money off of the affiliate code, but it is down there for you guys to use. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day filled with love and happiness. I will see you guys right back here tomorrow at 11 a.m. and I love you all so much. Bye.